hold. <laughs> So we're like right on the transition and uh, tells you a sign that these people fish. They got a fish feeder right there. Um, there's fishing pole holders on the dock. So there could be some rocks and other stuff that they threw off the brit or off the dock to make cover. And two, they got the fish feeder. So I mean, depending on whether or not they use it or not, that's one thing. But I'm pretty, I don't know, I'm, po I'm feeling, uh, Kind of optimistic about this, so uh, I'm gonna crab in here. So these are some old clams that uh, I cleaned a few days ago for surf fishing, and I'm taking the shells because they still got good clam bits on the shells. I'm just gonna push them up an area like right there. And that's that's gonna be where I fish. Right in there. You guys can see that. Sorry, let's see. All right, that's probably enough. Um, so, put this back in the cooler. Then take one of my clams. This. So, how I break these clams, I get two of them like this and I put them in my hand, just like this. Put them in my hand, like that, and like that, and then I just smash them together. And usually, will be, these are strong clamps right here, these two. But that, okay, that one broke. So, put this one back in the bucket, and this one is gonna be more chunk. The pieces that I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna put these fresh shells in there. Clean it. Right there where I was cleaning on fishing. And then I'm going to take the clam out of there. And that's what I'm going to be using for bait right there. And if you're. without hooking myself, 
eye. So the toughest part on the clam is the foot, and that really, that section right there on the end, you can see it kind of sticking up, that's the foot. So the first thing you want to do is put the hook through that foot, because that's really what's going to keep the hand, uh, clam on the hook, because all this other section, it looks firm, but it's really not, it's really soft. But what I'll usually do is go through the foot and then come back around, especially on these bigger clams, and come back out where the uh, guts and everything else are. And that's that's how I fish it right there. So um, I'm gonna swing it in there. I started that chum, and maybe there'll be a few fish here. And I'll usually, uh, right now I'm probably going to give it like 10 or 15 minutes. Oop, there's a bite right there. I'm going to give it like 10 or 15 minutes. If I get a few bites, if I don't get a few bites and it's kind of slow, I'll move on. But I'll usually give it about 10 or 15 minutes because you got to think this whole dock right here. And I just threw that chum in there so that's, that smell is spreading out, getting all around these pilings and hopefully attracting the fish where I have the chum. And the reason I like clams too, other than like a, a you know a dry chum and stuff like that, because those clam shells are gonna sink down to the bottom, and those are gonna it's gonna stay there. It's not gonna move, and so it's gonna be you know a good spot for chum, you know just to concentrate right there, and then the fish will hopefully concentrate where the shells are. been so slow. I was catching catfish as it oh, oh and then I just caught this sheep's head. Let me uh gonna be dangerous. I'm gonna try to lift her up for you guys. That sheep's head, guys. Nice sheepy. I think she's going in the cooler. <laughs> Woo! Perfect size for this cooler. Woo! Oh man. I was getting discouraged guys. I was I was getting discouraged. That's like catfish after catfish. And then I thought that was another catfish and as soon as I was at the hook I was like, oh this feels a little different. Turned out to be a little different. Whew. I'm gonna eat an apple and a snack bar and then uh, see if there's another one down there. This giant guys. Cute, huh? Little cute pie. Cute pie. Bye bye.